here today with an outstanding custom built 1911 pistol from the folks at Nighthawk Custom. This is their Firehawk model and it's the latest thing that they've got out. It's uh, got a five inch barrel with a uh, single expansion port compensator on it. It's just uh, wonderfully turned out. The uh, whole thing is even with the compensator, it's not any bigger than a standard 1911 pistol. We first got to know the folks at Nighthawk Custom some years back. Uh, our good friend and brother shootist, Sheriff Jim Wilson, has been a big proponent of Nighthawk pistols for years, and he usually hangs out at their booths at the trade shows, so we would always go by there and hang out and chew the fat with, with Sheriff Jim there for a while and got to know the Nighthawk folks a little bit because of that. Later on, my brother Jeff reviewed their Falcon pistol. This has been uh, about five years or so ago. And then uh, more recently, we have uh, done reviews on the uh, Thunder Ranch Combat Special. We actually had a giveaway on a Thunder Ranch Combat Special as well. It made one of our uh, viewers and readers very happy. I was envious of the fellow. And earlier this year, back in the spring, I reviewed the Bob Marvel pistol. It was a wonderful pistol, too. This is my favorite of the lot, probably because this was made to my order. This has got all the bells and whistles on it that I wanted. I always kind of wanted a race gun with a compensator on it, and that's exactly what this is, but it's also made to be carried for the most serious duty possible, protecting your life, protecting the life of your loved ones. This is a great pistol from Nighthawk Custom. Nighthawk is a, they're a custom outfit. Each gun is built one at a time by one gunsmith. That's one of their things that they say, one gun, one gunsmith. And that is a really cool deal because you got one guy that's responsible for the thing from start to finish. All the fitting is done by one master gunsmith and they tell you the master gunsmith is uh, so that you you know the guy's name which is a good thing that you can never if you ever have to get back to have a little bit of work done on it or if that guy ever hangs his own shingle and gets famous and you can say hey i got one of the guns that he made back before he went out on his own that's kind of a cool thing too uh we might as well get this out of the way the standard price of the firehawk is four thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars and that is not cheap by any means but the best never is and these are some of the best 1911 pistols that you can get the standard firehawk 1911 is made with a black nitride finish and uh, this one here uh, i ordered as a as a stainless gun i wanted it all stainless except for i wanted the uh, small parts to be blued for contrast just because i think that would look cool I also ordered mine with an ambidextrous thumb safety on it. It's always a nice thing to have. It's blued along with the trigger and the mag release and the uh, slide stop and the grips and the uh, the uh, grip safety and all that are blued for contrast. I think it makes it look really cool. The barrel, I went for an, a blackened barrel on mine to contrast with the stainless steel and I think it looks really neat. The Firehawk is available in 9mm or 45 ACP. This is the 45 version because it's a 1911, you might as well have a 45. Uh, it's not yet available in 10mm. They may get it out in 10mm in the future. I don't know if they'll roll out a 10mm nest, but since they make a lot of 10mm, I'd kind of be surprised if they didn't. The Firehawk has a 5 inch barrel and it maintains the length of your standard government 1911 even with the expansion compensator on the end of it it doesn't really add to the length of the pistol and it also uses a commander link spring and guide plug so that uh, the recoil impetus of the five inch gun is maintained this helps it in reliability and helps it to feel natural when you're shooting it the expansion port compensator's got a single port it's a big port it directs your muzzle gases upwards so it helps reduce the flip of the uh, pistol in the hand as you're shooting it it uh, reduces felt recoil because of that it also reduces the muzzle flip to an appreciable degree the barrel is a match grade barrel and this is a match accurate pistol this is a race gun it is a competition pistol right out of the box but it also is a great option for personal defense use because it's not bigger than a standard 1911 pistol and it has every reliability and every accuracy upgrade that you can think of the compensator 
is uh, got a bull nose configuration on the front of it, and that makes it easier to uh, get into your holster. Because, and that can be quite an important thing because uh, if you're shooting this thing in a match and you can't get your gun back in the holster, that can get you in trouble with the range officer. Uh, but even more importantly than that, if you're uh, using this pistol for serious social work and you can't get it back in your holster and you're standing there holding it in your hand, when the police officer gets there, that can get you in trouble too. So the bull nose on the front of the compensator may seem like a small detail, but it's small details like that that makes a good gun into a great gun. And the small details are what they pay attention to at Night all Custom. Although the barrel is a five inch barrel, which is your standard barrel length, it, uh, the slide, the reciprocating part of the slide is shortened, which also further uh, reduces the uh, recoil impetus in the hand because there's not as much mass moving back and forth, and it also helps it shoot flatter. The Firehawk also has uh, cocking serrations to the front and the rear of the slide, and it also has a French border around the slide, which ties it together with the compensator very nicely. It's a sleek looking design on this thing. It just looks very neat. And it's a, just a very good looking pistol. Another upgrade that I went with on this pistol is what they call the recon rail. It's a, a rail underneath the uh, dust cover. And uh, I like this so much more than a typical rail. It's, it's very much low profile, but it will mount anything that's pick compatible. It's just a very well designed deal. You basically, it's just squared off the bottom of the dust cover and it's got just a little bit of an unobtrusive rail slot in it. It's uh, If you're gonna have a rail, that's the way to do it. I don't really hardly ever use uh, things hanging up on the bottom of a gun, but it's a good place to put like a laser or a, a weapon light or something like that. And I figured uh, if you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly and went ahead and got the option on this one. The Firehawk has a very generous mag well. It's flared very nicely, but it doesn't stick out so far underneath your grip that it makes the pistol any harder to hide. It just really wants to guide that magazine up there. And then also the, the mainspring housing is built as one piece with the mag well. The mainspring housing is checkered at 30 lines per inch. And I also opted to have the front strap of the grip checkered at a similar 30 lines per inch. It really makes the thing feel good in the hand without a braid in your hand. It, it wants to stay where it's at while you're grabbing it. It doesn't squirm around too much when you're shooting. To go along with the 30 lines per inch checkering on the front and the back of the grip, the grips themselves, they're a medium uh, thickness and they're lightly textured. They're a black composite. They look nice, especially as a contrast to the stainless of the pistol. The left side where your uh, right thumb falls for a right-handed shooter is relieved it really makes a, a nice little thumb rest without uh, extending the width of the grip at all the grip safety is an upswept beaver tail which again i've had finished in black for contrast and it nestles in nicely with the black finish uh, skeletonized hammer and it, the whole thing feels great in the hand and it's got a memory bump on it which uh it's a little bit bigger memory bump than a lot of people use, which is a big deal to me because most of the time, even with a memory bump on most pistols, when you ride the thumb safety down, which helps you a lot in recoil management, with a lot of pistols, you ride that thumb safety down, I'm not depressing the grip safety enough to let the gun off but this time with these it works perfectly every time i'm really impressed with that with a pistol like this i can do that the way you're supposed to do it the thumb safety is uh, blackened on this one again for contrast with the stainless steel that's just what the way i wanted it to look it's made out of tool steel i went for the ambidextrous option and it's a uh, uh, extended and serrated on each side it's just a very nicely designed safety and it works very positively and it clicks on and off with a nice little audible click it doesn't feel mushy the slide stop is very neatly designed it's uh recessed into a little bevel into the into the uh starboard side of the pistol so that it doesn't stick out but it's you can still get in there and poke it out when you want to strip the pistol the on the port side you've got uh Instead of having this like your regular serrated deal, it's dished out in a really neat way. It feels neat and it's really easy to operate. 
The magazine release is also finished in black on this pistol. It's uh, extended and it's checkered very nicely. It just works perfectly. The trigger on the Firehawk is a medium length aluminum trigger, vertically serrated with over travel adjustment on the front of it. It, uh, it, it lets off very nicely, very crisply. There's no creep to it. There's no over travel to it thanks to the adjustment. I haven't had to touch that. But it's a very crisp, very clean, easy let off of an average 2 pounds, 1.9 ounces on my example. And it's very consistent. Just a wonderful trigger, as you would expect on a gun of this quality. Another option that I went for on this pistol, which doesn't mean anything to anybody but me, and is not going to do any good at all for the uh, operation of this pistol but just kind of personalized it to me is they will engrave some letters on the side of your gun if you want them to i had them put gunblast.com on mine it's a neat looking little font that they use and i think it really adds a touch of class and certainly a touch of personalization to this pistol the sights are very nice on this pistol the front sight is a steel uh, gold bead sight that's drift adjustable in a dovetail and it uh is attached to the compensator so it doesn't reciprocate with the slide it stays in one place makes it a little bit easier to pick up for subsequent shots the rear sight on the standard deal is a hiney ledge rear sight which is uh, made into a bomar cut it's a uh, very nicely melted into the back you know nice little low mount uh, rear sight on the thing that in the ledge allows you to work the slide if you get disabled or something like that double taps 230 grain full metal jacket flat point bullet is a great all around and practice load it's doing about a thousand feet per second out of a five inch barrel but with this compensator on it you really don't feel it all that much a good solid all around self-defense load is federal's 230 grain high shot jacket at hollow point they're uh, relatively inexpensive when you can find them available from places like uh, Lucky Gunner, which is where I get a lot of my ammo. Uh, the cool thing about Lucky Gunner is if it shows up on their website, they have it in stock. So you don't have to worry about going through all your ammo and seeing what you find. And Oh yeah, yippee, I found me some ammo. And then you get to check out and it's not there. If they show it, it's in stock. That's a great service. Their prices are reasonable at Lucky Gunner. But uh, this one here, it has uh, what they uh, call the IOS, Interchangeable Optics System. It's a innovation by Nighthawk that is really a cool deal. They basically uh, machine out the rear part of the top of the slide, and they've got just a seamless uh, integration with the standard uh, uh, rear sight that... Uh, it's just it's hardly noticeable until you put an optic on the pistol but it's really easy to put an optic on this pistol using that system there to do that basically you just first make sure that your pistol is unloaded and then you make double sure that your pistol is unloaded and then you make triple sure that your pistol is unloaded and make sure you don't have any ammunition anywhere close trust me i can tell you this from experience then all you have to do is there is a little set screw in the top you loosen that set screw a couple of turns it doesn't come all the way out it's captured into the top end of the slide of the uh, ios system there and then there's a little pin that drifts out in the uh the allen wrench that they that you use to uh loosen that set screw is very neatly designed so that uh it's the right diameter to, you can drift that pin out so as soon as you loosen that uh set screw you drift that pin out and then it, it slides out to the rear there is a tapered mortise in the top of the slide that perfectly matches the ios plate and uh, the rear side plate as it comes but uh, you basically just slide that out to the back and then you slide on the ios plate with your optic mounted and you uh, put your pin back in it uh, retighten your set screw and that's all there is to it you're good to go the ios system is uh available for several different uh, plate options that will accommodate a number of different rear sights i have on this one my favorite 
optical sight. Uh, it's a Trigicon RMR. Maybe not quite as tiny as some of the newer sights that are on the market, but what I love about these is they're tough as a pine knot and they're always on and they never need batteries. There is a uh, tritium dot in this thing that will glow in total darkness or in dim light and when you get into brighter lighting conditions there's a light bar on top of the site that augments that dot so that it brightens up when you're in brighter light so that you can still find the dot even in bright light conditions the brighter you are the brighter that dot is automatically you never have to fool with any settings the ios plate also has a fixed rear sight integrated into it so that you've got a wonderful co-witness to your uh, to your optic there if you ever need that it's just it's a, a wonderful thing to do and it also makes it really easy to sight this in because all you got to do is when you're uh, going to sight in your your optical sight you just dial it down to your sight picture because you still got a sight picture thanks to the co-witness rear sight on this it's a very neatly designed system it's uh the it's the coolest easiest and most seamless way I have seen yet to put an optic on a pistol. The iOS system is available on most of, if not all of uh, Nighthawk's pistols and it's a $350 option. It's well worth it if you want the best way possible to put a optical sight on your 1911, have it low mounted, have it unobtrusive as possible, and easily switch back and forth between your iron sights without losing your zero. Any good modern 1911 is made to run on a wide variety of ammo types and weights and bullet styles and the Nighthawk is certainly no exception to that. These things run just like a sewing machine, whatever you put in them. But the classic 45 ACP load is a good old GI 230 grain hardball load and a, a factory load that replicates that very well is the arms core 230 grain full metal jacket. There are a lot of options available for excellent quality carry ammo for the 45 ACP. One of my favorites is the controlled fracturing 170 grain plus P lead free load from Lehigh Defense. It's just a great load. It's a great design bullet. I've seen them shot into ballistic gel and other media and the things just work wonderfully. This Firehawk 1911 from Nighthawk Custom is a great uh, competition pistol but it's also a great defensive pistol. It, uh, it, it it will carry just fine. It's not terribly bulky. It's not too heavy. It's not heavier than a regular 1911, but uh, it, it carries very well in the proper kind of holster that's designed for it, such as this uh, CID slide holster from my friend Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters. It's a, sli it's a belt slide design, and it's a minimalist holster. The, the, the muzzle end of the gun is uncovered. The top end of the gun is uncovered, and uh, it's also cut out for the optic you can, uh, you can get them with or without the optics cut out. Just tell Rob what it is that you want and he'll fix you right up. This one here is made from uh, shark skin. His basic CID slide holster is 50 bucks. You can get them with or without the inside out straps to carry as a uh, inside the pants holster. I don't carry inside the pants because I already got too much stuff inside the pants with just me in here. But um, they work great for that too if you get the inside out carry straps that are available for this. And uh, they're just great little holsters. They're minimalist, they're easy to use, they're simple and they're rugged as the name implies. They start at 50 bucks. The exotic leathers and things, he has several different leathers that you can get from like uh, elephant and cape buffalo and uh, shark skin. Different colors of your, your regular leather like uh, black tan and oxbud. You can get uh, carving, stamping, uh, basket weave, whatever kind of things you want on these. Just get on Rob's website and look at them. Also, I carry Rob's dual defender mag pouch for two extra mag reloads. It works great for that. This is one that I've had around for years. I've used it for many years and it's just great. It's as good as it's still as tight and as tough as it was the day I got it. It's a great option. You can get them to match the holster, however you want to do that. 
These are also 50 bucks starting price from Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters. The Nighthawk Custom Pistols are certainly not cheap, but the best never is. Uh, you can easily find 1911 pistols for a fourth the cost of this or less, but you're not going to find a better 1911 pistol than this one. So if you're talking about a full-blown custom, pull out all the stops 1911 pistol. These are actually quite a, a bargain that you can get these cheaper than you can get uh, pistols from some of the uh, well-known custom makers that do them one at a time, which is exactly what Nighthawk Custom does with all of their 1911 pistols. They're all built as a custom pistol. They're built to your order. They're built exactly the way you like them, one at, one at a time by one gunsmith. For more information on these, the options available, the other models offered by Nighthawk, they have a great array of options on those. Just check them out at Nighthawk Custom.